What's going on guys? I want to do a little trade recap here on Nvidia. Nvidia was a strong mover today considering, you know, uh volume across the board. Uh even though a lot of things are green, this is a very short week. Holiday is tomorrow, Thursday, Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day to everyone. Um guys, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. Check out my website evolutiontraders.com. Uh, I'm doing all of these price breakdowns, all of these trade recaps, all of these strategy breakdowns um, until you guys start picking up what I'm laying down. And what that means is the more times you guys see it, the more times you guys hear it, the more comfortable you're going to get with this kind of stuff in seeing when it works and when it doesn't work because it doesn't always work. I'm showing you the ones that work. However, there are trades that do not work and stick tuned, stay tuned for those videos because I'm gonna show you when you will get shaken out and when you will have to control those emotions and when you will have to stop yourself out, okay? So market doesn't always go straight up. Market goes up and downs uh, and you know, you don't always get the follow through. So again, just to recap, this is for scalpers and day traders only, okay? I'm not talking to investors. I'm not really talking to swing traders. I'm not talking to you guys who believe that the stock is gonna go higher. And I'm not talking to the people that believe that, you know, NVIDIA is overvalued or, you know, it needs a pullback. Yeah, so does everything, you know? I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking for day. I'm talking to day traders. Okay. This is a five minute time frame. This is the 20 period moving average on my chart. The lines that you see on my screen were previous uh, resistance levels that I had 318.34, 323.54. You're going to kind of see how these lines kind of play a part in a bit. Um, you know, these are trades in themselves. We're not going to really go over those strategies, but I just use them to kind of show you guys. Uh, and I'll I'll touch base a little bit. So what are we looking for with the 20 period moving average strategy? We are looking for the stock to be trading underneath the 20 period moving average. Okay. Whether that be in pre-market or whether that be at market open, the best ones that I like are these ones right here where market opens. Okay. Market opens. We quickly spike up, get this nice pullback. Okay, get this nice pullback here, this little base going out here. Um, and then we get that, you know, slow build, slow build. Boom, here's our first close over the 20 period moving average. This time is uh, 6.45 a.m. 6.45 a.m. We did spike over 3.14.44. We did close at 3.13.71. What would we be looking for on this play? Guys, if you've been watching these videos, you should be able to answer these in your head, say it out loud. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the stock to be trading underneath the period, underneath the 20 period moving average. When? Pre-market, a little bit before the market opens, even if the market spikes up, pulls back. We're looking for the trade to be, the price action to be underneath the 20 period moving average on the five minute time frame. Okay, once we have that, what is next? Well, we're looking for it to reclaim this 20 period moving average. Boom, right here, 650. We get this first close over the 20 period moving average. What would we be looking for? We would be looking for price action on the, on the following candles to take out 313.65 or the top wick here at 314.43. The choice is yours. Sometimes I do jump the gun and use uh, the entry down here. Sometimes I try to wait for a little bit more stronger of a move and a little bit more confirmation because maybe I might be doubting myself or, or doubting the move. So I wait for it to kind of clear out this wick here. Either or is completely fine just as long as you know where you're going to stop out. First off, before we even get into the rest of this video, where is your stop? Where is your stop? Uh, I don't know. Underneath the 20 period moving average. Yes. Thank you. If the stock closes below the 20 period moving average, that is your cue to exit the trade. The trend, the momentum has shifted. Okay. It's going against you. If stocks are trading above the 20 period moving average on the five minute time frame, we are bullish. We are looking to go long in the stock. Okay. We are looking to go long. If the stock is trading below the 20 period moving average on the five minute time frame, we are looking to short the stock. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm not talking about what they're going to do on earnings. I'm not talking about what they're going to do next quarter. I'm not talking about what the company's going to do in five years from now. I don't give a shit. What I care about is the price action that's on the chart in front of me for that 
maybe five minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours, however long it gives it to me. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for here. We would enter this trade here. Let's just call it 314.46. We get this confirmation. We get this push higher. One, two, three pushes higher. That first push is going to take you to 318. Guys, I know that this is a big, nasty wick here. Remember what I talked about here, this prior resistance at 318? What did we do when we hit this prior resistance at 318? We spiked and wicked above it and it immediately pulled off, uh, pulled back. Sometimes this happened, guys. It needs a little bit more steam to get going before it builds up a little bit more momentum and traction. Not to say that it couldn't got rejected here, came down, closed, traded sideways, and came back down and broke the 20 period moving average. It could have done that as well. Okay, so... Normally, if you're a scalper, meaning that you plan on being in a trade for anywhere from one minute to 20, 30 minutes, you're looking for two to three pushes higher. So if you were to get in here at this 314.30 area, you would be looking for one, two, three, or one, two, three. That price is 318. If you got in at 314, guys, that's three and a half, four points. Take a thousand shares of that and call it a day. Okay. Take a thousand shares of NVIDIA and get three points and call it a day. Um, you know, take 20 contracts of NVIDIA in the money, get three to four points, call it a day. Okay. Call it a day. If you are playing with, let's say 20 shares, 50 shares, maybe you're only playing one contract, two contracts. Maybe you need that a little bit longer, a little bit bigger of a move, right? Just understand when you're looking for that bigger move, you're also looking for and can expect a bigger risk just due to the fact that you're going to have to wait around a lot longer for the chart and the price action to chop around and kind of grind higher. So if this is our entry here, three, what, 314 and a half, get this push up to 318. We come back, back test this previous resistance. I can now take this off because this is, you know, this is going to be irrelevant for the video. We come back down, back test, get this nice push higher. I mean, guys, 321, 323, another resistance here. What did we do? We came above it, broke the back down. Second attempt to get back over, kind of found a little base here. But I mean, guys, right off the bell, you could have watched one stock, that stock being NVIDIA. You could have taken entry at 313, potentially sold at 323, a 10-point move. Guys, take 1,000 shares and get 10 points. Take a thousand shares and get 10 points. Call it a fucking day. Okay. Take a hundred contracts. Okay. Maybe not a hundred contracts. Take 10 contracts. Get 10 point move in your favor. Call it a day. That's your trade. Guys, I hope this helps. Please do me a favor. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Join the discord. I will see you guys all in the next video.